Hello everyone, it's Julia here from Inflorescence Designs. Today's tutorial is a no sew project. That's right, we're making a no sew fabric storage box. So let's begin. Start by cutting off the top flaps of the box you are using. Next, we will need to measure the sides of the box. Start inside on one side of the box. Measure up the inside, over the top edge, down the side, across the bottom, back up the opposite side, over the opposite side's top edge, back down the opposite inside. You will need to do this for both sides. Once you have your measurements, you will need to add two inches onto each measurement. Next, you will need to mark your box. Find the center of three of the sides. You will need to cut out your fabric to the measurement you calculated before. If your measurements are larger than the traditional fabric yardage, you will have to sew a seam or use Thermoweb's heat and bond hem superweight iron on adhesive tape to make a no sew seam. Once your fabric is cut out, fold it in fourths to find the middle of your fabric and mark it. Then fold the fabric in half. Pay close attention to your fabric's measurements and what side of the box they belong on. Align your box in the center of your folded fabric. Half of the box will not be on the fabric fold. Once your box is in place, you will need to measure one inch on the two corners and cut them out. Next, unfold the fabric. Arrange your box in the center of your fabric with approximately one inch of fabric around the bottom of the box. You will cut a diagonal from the corner towards the corner of the box. Using Heat & Bond Fabric Fuse Peel & Stick Fabric Adhesive Tape, layer the tape across the top edge of the box. Place your box back in the center of your fabric. A weight or rock comes in handy here. Once your box is in place, peel the backing off the Peel & Stick Fabric Adhesive Tape. Fold the fabric up and over the edge of the box and press the fabric to the tape. You will place additional small pieces of tape inside the box on the side you are working on. Peel the paper away and adhere the fabric down the inside of the box. You will need to repeat this for the other side as well. Next, use some of the peel and stick fabric adhesive tape under the edges of the fabric on the uncovered sides to hold it in place. Continue by grabbing Heat & Bond Hem Superweight Iron-On Adhesive Tape. Cut a piece that is the length of the open side of fabric. Place the adhesive tape down on your fabric, close to the raw edge. Fold your fabric over so the folded edge is in line with the box. 
press to adhere the hem tape. You will do this to all four raw edges. Using the peel and stick adhesive tape, place a piece along the outside of the unfinished sides. Peel back the paper and fold the hemmed sides up the box to adhere. Continue by placing a few small pieces of the tape under the fabric from the adjacent sides inside the box to keep it in place. Then place longer pieces of the adhesive tape on top of the fabric inside the box. You will then peel the paper back and fold the flaps over to secure. Repeat these steps on the opposite side of the box. Next, you need to measure the opening of your box. Cut out a piece of foam board, slightly smaller than your measurement. Once cut out, insert your foam piece into the bottom of your box. You can also cover this piece with fabric in the same way you cover the box if you so choose. Your box is essentially finished, but wouldn't it look great with some embellishments? You can embellish with all sorts of things. I use Thermoweb's Heat and Bond Fabric Fuse Liquid Adhesive to glue decorative ribbon around the box for a nice finished look.